Ciao ragazzi, in Italian means hi guys, there is a lot of sun today. Welcome back to my channel, new day, new vlog. It's gonna be a day in my life or a few days in my life. We're gonna see if you know me, you know I follow the flow, so let's see what's gonna happen. This morning I had to do some stuff. I came with my mom to a town close to mine, it's like 10 minutes by car. And this place has a special place in my heart because I did like all the period of time, like the teenage time, teenager time, uh, all the high school, like five years, because in Italy, high school, it's usually five years uh, for the most part of the school. So I was studying during high school in this town every day, uh, coming here by bus. So a lot of memories here. Let's have a tour, let's have a walk, let's have an Italian passeggiata. Okay, we parked the car and first of all, this is the library. I was coming to study here during high school sometimes. It's really big. Now I'm gonna take you with me for a quick look inside. I haven't been here, like in this place, for such a long time. I mean, from the outside, yes, I like crossed the streets many times, but I haven't been inside for such a long time. Here, like a little overview of the place, a lot of people are studying. Time for breakfast because Italian breakfast is always a good idea. A little overview of the food. I chose a honey croissant and a cappuccino. And recently I'm really into the honey flavor. I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, it was so yummy, but there were so many other flavors. Fun fact, this cafe is really old, kind of historic. When I think about a cafe in this town, this is the first cafe that comes to my mind. As you can see and as you can imagine, in Italy we like to walk. We like to have a cafe with some tables outside, so if it's sunny we can have a coffee under the sun. And yeah, we like it so much. When I was studying here, it was not like this. I mean, it, the buildings are the same, but now you can see there is a like all like a big square where no cars and you can just, uh, I mean, and people can walk around and so on. And for sure it's better now. Before here, there was a street that was crossing between the buildings and I was always stop, stopping here with the bus to go to school and usually me and my friends we're gonna have a coffee uh, like a cappuccino and a croissant at, at a cafe because my bus I was leaving home around seven uh, seven and like seven in the morning seven and ten and I reached the place because you know the bus need more time because there are a lot of stops and blah 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 I reached the place around 7.30 and school started at 8. So we had like 30 minutes and usually we're gonna have a quick breakfast all together and then we're gonna walk to school. So yeah, and now there is this big square and for sure it's better because you can walk around, no car, you know. But anyway, I remember also how it was before. And, and I don't know if I mentioned it anyway, the name of the town is Montebelluna. Okay, this is the school, not that aesthetic, but a lot of memories. So this was my high school and because in Italy you have to choose like kind of which field you wanna, I don't know, you wanna study. So I chose languages and so in this school I was studying, oh my god guys, there, I was Wait, okay, like this. I was studying uh, English, French, and German. And also we did a couple of, um, you know, like, um, how to say, like exchange program, like abroad um, with the school. Like we went 
uh, 10 days in Germany, North Germany, and uh, like some families, some families there hosted us and then the German students came and we hosted them. And then uh, we went two weeks in um, California, close to San Diego. And again, like some American families hosted us and then they came and we hosted them. It was guys, amazing experience, really really amazing i had a lot of fun during high school for me it was a super super happy moment of my life I had a lot of fun and amazing experiences and i was happy to chose this school and i met some people that we are still friends and also i want to organize a dinner with like all the uh, classmates from from high school i would love to do that i should in front of the school as you can see cinema in italian we have the cinema so this is a cinema like all the buildings are amazing and this is the cinema oh this house is amazing we did this kind of game that my mom saw on tiktok for my cats and obviously they're not playing now tell me that not only my cats are not playing at all like they don't really like to play they just sleep sometimes they play for a couple of minutes but really a couple of minutes and that's it they don't like like games these kind of things am i the only one it's the next day yes I'm doing an Italian passeggiata, yes. I need the, the third cup of coffee, yes. I've just been to my friend's beauty salon. Actually, we had a quick lunch and then I went to her beauty salon to do my lash lift. And this time they came even better. Like the result is even better than last time. I'm gonna show you later. Now I'm going back home and I was so relaxing that I almost sleep. I need another cup of coffee, like the third cup. This is the view from my little village. Yes, it's the next day again. And yes, I need to wash my hair. Just did some skincare and guys, okay, first of all, it's a no makeup day because I need to stay like 24 hours without uh, like wash my eyes for the lash lift and also I don't know if it's clear from the camera but and with mascara you're gonna see better the effect but can you see like I'm gonna check with the back camera can you see that like the eyebrows are like more with a curl effect i don't know how to say it it's a really natural effect and it's gonna be more clear with a mascara but usually my eyebrows are like like this like really long but straight and also a little bit I don't know a little bit down in this part of the eye so like this for me it's amazing but my friend told me uh, that now we're gonna wait like some months so all the, my eyebrows like they will lose this effect and they will go down again and then when they are really really down we're gonna make it and she thinks i can get an even better result anyway also Highly recommend, guys, this serum. I was just checking my skincare products. It's the Revitalift Filler, uh, like uh, face serum with yellow, like 1.5% um, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid by L'Oreal Paris. Um, I tried the first time I got this serum uh, with a. Um, PR package, so grateful for PR packages. And I really like it, like the, I love the scent. It's hydrating, um, easy to absorb, and it's not too heavy because when products are too heavy or too oily, um, like with my combination skin, it's not a good fit. Like they're gonna make me um, 
they're gonna make me have like pimples and this kind of of things but this one not heavy at all not oily and i really like it and i think i repurchase re like I bought it many times after that PR package so I recommend it and yeah that's it it's afternoon guys and I'm having with some crackers no idea how to call it we call it mustarda and I'm gonna eat it just with some cracker directly from the case Mm. I will look for the um, definition on Wikipedia. Anyway, it's amazing. If you like spicy, it's a little bit spicy, but a little bit sweet. Amazing. Look at this cutie, Chinese. still sleepy guys it's night just did my skincare routine and if you know me you know how much i love to see like my skin glowing so i'm in bed obviously and now uh, i'm really sorry if my vlogs are a little bit you know i just like to follow the flow so i don't know the most important uh, thing for me was to show you um, this small town where I was studying during high school because I'm thinking to do this kind of format let's say so to um, show you around some villages some town some uh, bigger city like uh, Treviso Venice and so on and incorporate uh, incorporate like the experience um, into my vlogs so I would love to do Many, many vlogs and in everyone show you a little bit of some places, some area around here. So first of all, let me know if you like the idea. I think it could be interesting um, also because it's going to be from a local point of view. And also because I think that when people uh, come to Italy, like traveling, um, like the tourism agency, uh, usually like send them to the main city like Venice, Milan, um, Rome and so on, Sardinia and so on. But there are so many even smaller towns, for example Treviso is smaller than other big cities but it's so cute and I know like because I was talking with some tourists during the years that they loved it so much and they didn't know about this place this area so i think it could be interesting also for you to um, discover some new places so if you are planning um, to travel to italy um, i mean you're gonna have more information let me know if you like the ideas now basically i just gonna read a little bit i wanna um I want to like start this new habit. I started last year but was not that consistent to read not just in the morning but also a little bit in the evening before sleep. And also I'm going to complete my productive planner that I'm totally in love. Uh, the brand is Intelligent Change, the same from the super viral um, five minute journal. And basically it's um, a planner and it's something between uh moti like motivation self growth and also planning because there are motivational quotes but there are also i'm going to show you so there are many sections like a place where you can track your habit um a place where you can plan your month and so on about the like day by day like daily planner so basically you have the day you're going to put here the date and then you have this part to complete during the day. And here you have all the like uh, hour by hour, like daily planning. And for th this part, you have to complete. Okay, so the first part is going to teach you to be grateful and intentional during your day. So you have to complete I am grateful for and then intention for the day. Then you're going to have uh, most important task. 
secondary tasks of importance, additional tasks. And in the beginning, there is a complete like introduction that explains this method. So it's really interesting and I find it useful. So highly recommend it. And then you have the last part that you're going to complete during the night. I mean, before sleep. Uh, and that's what they're going to do. And you have to complete highlight of the day. What did I learn today? What do I want to remember from today? Then you have habit tracker, mood tracker, and rate day. On the other page, you're going to have a motivational quote. Here we have, don't go throw life. Grow throw life. Eric Butterworth. Amazing. And then you have notes that personally I use that page as a journal so I have everything here like everything to plan my day and also to journaling and reflect a little bit highly recommend it guys it's a three months planner so for now I'm totally in love so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna sleep also I'm wait my god guys as always I think I'm repeating it like during every vlog that I did a tripod uh, and a camera and I don't know anyway um, <laughs> save money anyway um, also I'm studying a new content strategy and I'm totally in love like I'm thinking about that I think 24 7 <laughs> because this year I want to I want it to be that year that's gonna change completely my life and I want to become a youtuber this year i decided that so i'm trying to uh, plan like a different kind of content for each platform i mean about the short form contents some of them gonna be the same because uh, for example if it's gonna be a trend or something uh, like really quick and funny probably i gonna repost it on each platform but i wanna also to uh, make some specific content for youtube shorts for TikTok and for Instagram Reels. And for now, if you want to go to check it out, uh, on my TikTok, you can find like my journey. I want to document all my journey, like becoming a YouTuber in 2024, like step by step what I'm doing. So I don't want to like give you like just, you know, just tip one, tip two, tip three, just a list. I want to really like do it with you share with you each step that i'm doing each feeling everything so it's gonna be a series and i think it's really interesting i got inspired from justin justin's camera roll a girl that is growing so much right now on tiktok and instagram and they got really inspired by her journey and i want to make my version and so you're gonna find this on tiktok and on instagram reels you're gonna find another series there i gonna document specifically like becoming an influencer in 2024 so becoming an influencer using like instagram and tiktok so it's a little bit different because uh i mean youtube is another kind of platform like each platform is different but um a lot of people that like influencers a lot of them are using just tiktok and instagram so i want to document that kind uh, of strategy um but also i want to add to my strategy the youtube part because basically my main goal is to become a youtuber and then also an influencer so on TikTok, you're going to find my YouTube, my YouTuber journey. And on Instagram, you're going to find my influencer journey. So for now, there is this like couple of series, uh, one for each platform. And of course, on YouTube, you're going to find a lot of long form video like vlogs uh, about my life, about my passions, about Italy and so on. And more is coming i'm planning guys so wish me luck and i think just want to share with you a little bit and now i'm gonna complete my uh, planner and i also want to say recently i like to plan my day the night before so i will also uh, plan like the main tasks for the next day anyway and i'm gonna go to sleep I hope you enjoy. I will see you on the next one. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment. I love to read them. Love you so much. I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.